guys, it's Brie. So today's video is going to be on thick and thin cloth pads. I get asked questions a lot on which pads are thicker and which pads are thinner. So I thought what I do today is I just grab a few of each of my thicker and thinner pads from each kind of area of my stash, so to speak. So I've got two thick and thin pads, pads from my panty liner set, my light flow, my regular flow, and my heavy flow. I haven't got um a thick and thin cloth pad show you for my overnight stash because all my pads in my overnight stash are pretty much at the thicker end of the scale. Um, if you want a thinner uh, overnight pad, if you're not that heavy, say, then maybe what you want to, want to do is contact a seller and say, hey, you know, I like your overnight shape, but could you please make it in a regular or a heavy absorbency for me so it's not as thick? That's probably my best suggestion for you guys in that position. But I'm just going to go straight into it and show you the brands and the sizes so you can kind of get an idea of which brands you might want to try if you like thick pads or thin pads. So the first panty liner is a Mimi's Dreams. This is a 7 inch pad and it's cotton topped fleece backed, if I can get this to focus, there you go. It's not a particularly thick pad, it is, all, it is at the thicker end of my panty liners. It's just because it's a panty liner that I deem a thick pad because when I'm wearing it, it does feel kind of bulky. So it's my first thick pad, Mimi's Dreams, fleece back, cotton topped, and I think it's like a terry core. Then, I don't know all the cores for these, I'm afraid. My next thick pad is a pink lemonade shop. This is six inches, and like if I hold up here, you can just see its length and the pattern. It's minky topped, and it's windpro fleece backed. If this thing will ever focus, there you go. And you can see it's, again, one of the thicker pencil lines I have. Please excuse my hideous nails. I clean them all the time and they just get dirty again. Right, so those are my two thick panty liners. The next pads I'm going to do are my thin panty liners. So starting off, I think I'm going to do my dimple bum, dimple muff, sorry, panty liner first. This is the brand. Dimple muff. And you can see, wait, it doesn't look at there, but it's, it's really, really thin. It's very surprising actually because I, I, it has a good absorbency and it's got a flannel core, I do know that. Cotton topped, micro fleeced back and it's just a lovely thin pad. Unfortunately the width of it just makes it a bit too wide for me to use it on like my period or something and also it's blue, I don't like it to stain. But I do wear it on its second snap um, sometimes as a daily liner but you see on the second snap it's still pretty wide so that's the only reason I don't use it more often but it's very thin. And my final panty liner, thin panty liner is by Rainbow's Grace. So here is a seven inch liner, as you can see there, kitty cat print, and here is its thickness. It's like literally non-existent. It is so thin, it's definitely the thinnest panty liner I have, and that's probably because it's cotton topped and it's flannel backed and a layer of flannel in the middle, I'm pretty sure, but it's definitely my thinnest liner. Moving on to light pads, my first thick light pad is again by Mimi's Dreams. It's flannel top this one and again uh, anti pearl fleece backed and I'm not entirely sure. She, I think she changed her core around the time I bought this one but I'm not sure. So this is 8 inches I believe and this is the thickness, hang on, we get to focus, there you go. It's the thickness, so it's a pretty thick light day pad I think. And that's by Mimi's Dreams. Then my second thick panty liner, I don't have many thick panty liners, so this one isn't a really thick panty liner, it's just one of my thicker ones, but I probably would be in a medium thickness as opposed to a really thick. It's by Chelsea B Creations, it's a gorgeous care by print. I don't use this one as much because it's blue and I just, I'm really bad with staining and stuff. But it's an adorable print, this one is also 8 inches, and here is the thickness. So you can see it's at, it's at the thicker end of the scale, but it's not ridiculous, or at least it doesn't feel ridiculous to me. Then moving on to my thinner pads, the first one is from Rainbow's Grace. This is a 7 inch light day pad. I love this one for menstrual cut backup if I'm not sure I'm going to leak, so maybe on my heavier day. It's just this adorable pattern here. You can see the thickness there. So again, not ridiculously thick. Oh, sorry, it's a thin one. It, it, it's, it's, it feels really thin when I'm using it. Cotton topped, fleece back, and a flannel inside, I believe. And the last thin panty liner is by Emilla. She has a cotton top, this is just a black print, cotton topped, and it's like a nylon backing, but it's not, it's a special wet, um, wetsuit material. That's the thickness. That's pretty pretty darn thin. It's a bit like party in my pants. I've lost my pimps liner so I couldn't do that one as my thin liner. Um, I'm sure any, a lot of you will be asking me that why don't you use your pimps. I've lost it or it's in the wash. I'm not entirely sure. 
Moving on to regular flow cloth pads, the first one I have is a Terra pad by Karma. She's now called Sage of Terra, and she's on Etsy. And this is one of her kind of first style, um, first editions, I think. Not long after she set up anyway, so I have one of her thinner um, pads now, but she's definitely on the thicker side of things, and you can kind of, like, this is this gorgeous, it's kind of faded over time, but it was like a batik, and it's on the thicker end of the regular pads. I think this is nine inches. I got it as one of my first cloth pads and I still really like it. The cotton on this absorbs like at supersonic speed, so it's really good for that. And then my second uh, cloth pad is by Bose Bespoke. And this is more because, I don't know if she's changed it since then, but it's not top stitch and that can make a big difference when you're looking at the thickness of a cloth pad. It's Egyptian cotton topped and fleece backed and with both these um, thicker pads actually the cotton absorbs like super super fast, it's great. Uh, this is 9 inches as well, sorry it's slightly stained there. And that's its thickness there. So you can see it's another pad that's at the thicker end of the scale. In my thin regular flow pads, I, the first one I have is my County Cloth Creations. This is so thin, this is 9 inches, cotton topped, micro fleeced back, and I think it might be bamboo fleece in the core. Don't like quote me on any of these cores, it's been a long time since I've ordered a lot of these pads, but it's just, it's really, really thin, and I've never ever leaked through it. So I love it for that, it's a great shape too. And the last one is a Baba's Mum cloth pad. She's got a lot of different other styles, so this one is the straight style, she's curved and angel and stuff. Um, I think she's bringing you one out soon as well, but these are really, really, really thin. So that's Baba's Mum, and I believe this is 10 inches. And finally, moving on to my heavy days, the first one I have is an Eco Owl by Netta. This is a 10 inch heavy, and it's cotton topped, anti pill fleeced back, and a pretty short terry in the centre. So if I bring it in, you can see the pattern. And it's a super thick pad but it's so squishy and it's really comfy actually a lot of the time it's just one of those I don't know it feels like you're sitting on a pillow squishy pads that's one of the reasons I haven't kicked these out these heavy ones the next one I have is a tree hugger this is nine inches I believe and it's in the royal baby print when Prince George was born I got this in a kit with a blue one but I've since given the blue one to a friend and you can see the thickness there it's quite thick because it's minky topped it's uh, anti pull fleece back and it's absorb core and it's there's the the brand tree hugger there you go that's the website and for my thin heavy pads my first one is a novel red pad this is a 10 inch heavy i believe in the purple arrows print um the heavy pads like tend to be a bit thicker anyway but it's definitely one of the thicker heavy pads sorry thinner heavy pads you can see there it's like not a ridiculous thickness at all and it's cotton topped, wind pro fleece backed, and I'm pretty sure it's bamboo flannel on the inside. 10 inches, I'm pretty sure I've already said that. And then finally, I have a Homestead Emporium 10 inch pad. I always want to say Ulti Mini, and that's not right. I'm sure someone can tell you what this is. But it's 10 inches, and it's kind of interesting. It's the way they designed this pad that makes it so thin. So, I mean, I have it in this gorgeous kind of blue ocean uh, colorway. And you can see how the soaker is sewn on this. So there's not much absorbency down here. It's just the bamboo floor, which is really absorbent. But because it's sewn right in the center, you get the bulk of it here where you need the absorbency. And then it kind of spreads out. So it's actually really thin at the edges. But it's more bulky in the center. There you go. There you can see the, the bulkiness. But it feels really thin when you're wearing it because of this design. So those are my thickest and my thinnest cloth pads. I hope this video was useful for you guys. I've only got a couple more days left of the pads for empowerment, so please click on the links below. But thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.